Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be reacting to another new comedian, Tom Segura. I haven't seen much of his stuff. I did a reaction of Joey Diaz when he was on Tom Segura's podcast. Uh, apart from that, I am I know who he is, but I am not much familiar with his style. I've seen one of his clips where he overdosed. That's what I've seen. After that, I stopped because I was like, "Look, I'm go I, I like what he does, so I'm gonna." I've been looking forward to doing this, so here I am today. This will be my first time reacting to Tom Segura funny disabilities. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. And I get why you laugh at my physical flaws. Physical flaws are funny. They just are. Disabilities are not. But some are. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Most aren't. We know those ones, you know? Like if there's a 10K or a quilt, it's pretty bad. But... <laughs> The rest are up for debate. <laughs> Such if you're a... sitting here and you're like, well, well, well when is it ever f -f 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 funny? <laughs> well, luckily for you, I have three examples. First, <laughs> I'm looking forward foreign to... accent syndrome. Some of you know about it, some of you don't. It's real. You can look it up on your way out of here. Some people experience head trauma, not funny but they wake up speaking their native language with a foreign accent. Very funny. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard of I it. I defy you to watch interviews with these people and not piss yourself laughing. <laughs> Do you understand? Like a farmer in Alabama who's normally like bup, 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 dip, bup, dip, bup, boop. that guy <laughs> hits his head and is now like, eh, the tractor trailer, it, it, it <laughs> fell. I love man. That's not funny to you, you piece of shit, really? <laughs> The best case ever of foreign accent syndrome happened in the UK. Yes, I know about this well, Not only was it a British woman who lived her entire life in the UK, she'd never left the town she was born in for That's 33 correct. years. She was in an accident and she woke up speaking English, but with Chinese. a Chinese yeah. foreign accent. I remember, I know Did that. Did you hear what I just fucking said? <laughs> Do you now believe in God and his awesome sense of humor? <laughs> a British lady who her whole life was like, hello, it's a bit of a whiffle, isn't it? Fuck like that. <laughs> now says, I have not had my conversation. <laughs> I have an extra, I should have be laughing. First of all, do you know how hard it is to do that impression without squinting? Second <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a two jokes in one. If you're getting uncomfortable, like, whoa, he's mocking an Asian accent? No, she's white. This is fine. <laughs> oh, white <laughs> British lady That's fine, just yeah. happens to say, Will you like a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good? <laughs> you want me? You want biscuit? Oh, that's too oh, funny, man. <laughs> you want me to suck me? I don't know. Whatever. She's a nice British lady. She can say whatever she wants. <laughs> now, if you're sitting in your seat right now and you're like, uh, 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 I don't think it's funny. Well, don't get your tits in a tussle. I got two more for you. Yeah, that's it. There we go. I love this. Oh. What about persistent genital arousal disorder? Ooh, I've heard about that. That is a fancy way of saying never not coming. <laughs> These are people that have orgasms every 90 seconds and yeah. they can't have jobs. Why can't they have jobs, Tom? Because they're coming all the time. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about appropriate. that. It's not appropriate for you to be like, can I try on this shirt? And the guy's like, <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your shirt. I'm gonna wear my own shit. I'm not wearing your fucking shirt. <laughs> this is good, man. I love this. You imagine you're like, oh, we're out of orange juice. Or, <laughs> like, oh, just bring water. That's too much sugar. I don't want any more of that. 
Some people suffer from both of those afflictions. You know that? It's rare, but it happens. Can you imagine that? That like you just walk up to someone, you're like, oh, I'm sorry to hear about your dad passing away. And he's like, <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> I made that one up. That's not true. But <laughs> that was cheap, but that was fun. Now, <laughs> still not on board with this. How about an old, reliable one? You know, how about Tourette syndrome? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you've heard of that. Yeah. You haven't? Let me tell you. When I was in fifth grade, my parents sent me to a new school on a Wednesday. I'll never forget. It was a Catholic school, and on Wednesdays, they had mass. So picture you're a new student at a new school, you don't know anybody, and the first thing you're doing is you're going to church. Yeah. So I walk in, and the priest starts the service. He goes, name of the Father and the Son. And the kid in the row in front of me goes, fuck your cunt. Oh! oh, my God. oh. This kid is oh. gangster, ain't it? <laughs> Nobody did anything. No one batted an eye. He just goes, Holy Spirit. Starts reading from the Bible. <laughs> This kid goes, lick my balls. <laughs> Fuck you. I am laughing so goddamn hard. I, I know I'm not kid. supposed to laugh. It sounds like I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I'm 10. I'm like, <laughs> I had a little moment. <laughs> I have tears running down my face. <laughs> and finally, I'm able to get out. Heck of nobody else. He's <laughs> <laughs> laughing. And the kid next to me goes, he's got Tourette's. It gets old. <laughs> Three years I was at that school. That shit never got old. <laughs> the greatest yeah. gift God ever bestowed upon me. And I'll tell you this. The greatest day of my life, up until the day my son was born, was the day we had a substitute teacher that year and they didn't warn her about him. <laughs> oh, Your I imagination is serving you correctly. Yeah. <laughs> it was glorious. I watched a 10-year-old boy break a grown woman's spirit. <laughs> These poor substitutes, they don't know what's going on in your class, you know? She walked in. Somehow, they didn't tell her, and she's like, read chapter three. And then his ticks would build meaning they would start small. So he would sit in class and be like, hey. <laughs> So she goes, what's going on? And we're like, <gasps> she doesn't know. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I love this. He would do this every day. He would take markers and paint his own shirt. Again, every day he did it, but she doesn't know about it. So she sees it. She's like, what are you doing? He goes, what do you think, bitch? <laughs> Then he starts painting his face with the marker, and she goes, stop that. And he goes, fuck you, bitch, fuck you, fuck you. And she's like, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> and we go, that's Kevin. Why are you crying so much right now? Like <laughs> and she killed herself. She's dead. So. Oh! <laughs> she's out of teaching, but she's, she's fine. So. Killed her teaching, though. So, that was Tom Segura, Funny Disabilities. Uh, and the thing is, it is an absolute brilliant, brilliant concept. And I absolutely love the whole bit. It is so funny. And the story about the British lady with uh, a Chinese accent is actually absolutely true. It was in the newspaper as well. And you can watch a clip on YouTube about that as well. Uh, it was sometime, uh, I think between 10 to 15 years ago. I do remember, I clearly remember watching that series at that time, I thought it was bullshit, but then it turned out to be true. And about the constantly having orgasms, that's, I, I know about that from a TV series, I think it was Grey's Anatomy, where I learned about this is an actual medical condition. And uh, so, uh, that's absolutely, it's a bit fucked up, considering you can't work, you can't do anything, but for everybody else, you might find it funny. Obviously it is funny, but I think for an individual it must have been a quite fucked up to be honest. And then the last one, I would call it Tourette, uh, is just, it's, it's just funny man. You can't, 
even he said like for three year, years he never got old that shit never got old for him and that kid literally killed a teacher stream of teaching kids that was absolute brilliant the whole bit i am so glad i watched this and i'm so glad it was the first time watching this because it just it was refreshing man to watch something this uh caliber because it's so much brilliant it's like uh it's got it's got the point line he's got the style it's similar to uh bill burr but not angry and it is also close to a uh, louis ck which i also love i really did enjoy that and I, i'm so much looking forward to doing more so i hope you enjoyed it if you did like subscribe share and leave a comment also check out my other playlist there's plenty to watch and i'll see you guys next time